Hi folks, this week's theme is celebration. Mr Wall started the week talking about how we celebrate, which has become a little bit different. But it's also about what we celebrate, which has also become different. We all have those days that are challenging and sometimes you get to the end and think, well, actually, that whilst parts weren't great, it wasn't a total disaster. So it's really about not taking things for granted and acknowledging, actually, do you know what? I did good. It's parts of that I can really celebrate getting through. So I'm marking this week's celebration as we would have done in celebrating you. It has been a different year and learning has been different, but we have been really impressed with you. So much of your work has been shared and celebrated through school social media. Every, every department has been sharing what you've been doing. And also there have been the rewarding of department rainbow awards. And Mr. Paris has also been sending out head teach commendations. And it's been great to see how many of them have gone out. We have been so proud of you. And since we have been on site with year 10 and 12, we've also heard about how you were doing and different work you have been doing through talking to your teachers. So it has been really good to hear all of this. So I wanted to catch up really with house competitions and have a little look at where, where we are with the house cup and what's gonna happen with that. Um, the House Cup is still going to be awarded at the end of next week. So I'm going to whisk through the competitions and then we can have a look at the points that you've collected um, from those commendations and rainbow rewards. And then I have some, some guests at the end of my um, celebration um, assembly who, who want to give you a special message. So we ran a number of competitions while we've been in lockdown and um, it's been really interesting to see which houses have flourished whilst we've been on lockdown um, and which houses have actually entered different types of competitions from what they normally would do if we were in school. So we started with the V Day competition. Um, v Day was, was a really special day. Um, just for everybody really, because it was the first day that we had something really big to celebrate. Um, so people went out and did amazing things and you sent in the pictures of what you were doing. So here's a few of the examples. You can also see the heart space there, so because as our students who um, were in the hub were bouncing along the heart space, which made it look fantastic. So in first place um, came Clumber and Rufford joint first place. Then we had Thorsby in third place and Welbeck in fourth place. The Lisa Southwell competition was a lyric writing competition and you can see there in first place came Borsby, second place Welbeck, third place Clumber and fourth place Rufford. Martha in year nine won the competition and she's already worked with Guy Turner and the lyrics have been already set to music. Um, in that competition Rachel in year 11 came second and in third place came Isaac. Can I just say a huge congratulations to all of you. Third competition to be launched this half term has been the library book cover competition. Overall that was Clumber Steel. Clumber was the only house who actually um, put any entries in. So well done Clumber, you absolutely took that from all the other houses and you got the 40 points. Um, congratulations to Nathan, you can see there he, he was the winner and he did the book cover as a magic finger and um, he's got his dad there floating along at the top. Uh, excellent effort, well done. The final competition was the Wonderful World uh, Photography Competition. We had lots of entries from right across the houses. So looking at the winners, in first place it was joint first place again with Clumber and Thorsby and in third place, joint third place was Rufford and Welbeck. Izzy Marie won for Rufford, Rebecca for Thorsby, Sophie for Welbeck, Nathan for Clumber and Miss Walters who also um, won for the Rufford Tutors. Well done to all of you. On the next slide, you will see the entries from the winners and also a range of different photographs that were taken from across the competition, showing what people have been doing during lockdown to make them happy. Well done to everyone who entered. It was really great seeing what you've been up to and all your fabulous photography skills.
Department Rainbow Awards or Department Rewards were introduced when we started into lockdown so we could actually celebrate and send rewards home to you. So each week every department nominates students for Rainbow Rewards. These are worth two words points. Each week we are sending out approximately 250 Rainbow Department Rewards to students across year groups and houses and this is to recognise and celebrate all your hard work. So the totals from these have been in first place Rufford, second place Clumber and Welbeck, joined second place again, and in fourth place Thorsby. Can I just say a huge congratulations to all students who have received these rewards. Rainbow Head Teacher accommodations have been sent out by Mr. Paris each week. These are worth three words points, and there have been these have been awarded. Um, well, there have been anything from 70 to 100 of these sent out to students each week to congratulate them as well as celebrate achievements during lockdown. In terms of total we have Rufford in first place, Clumber in second place, Walbeck in third place and Thorsby in first, fourth place. And can I just say congratulations to students who have received these. Um, your work has really been celebrated through a range of social media and teachers have also nominated you for these where they've identified the work you've done has been exceptional. So congratulations to those of you who've received these. So it's time for the big reveal so we can see who is in the lead with the house points. It is close. In fourth place with 600 points is Rufford. In third place with 610 points is Thorsby. And in joint first place, are Clumber and Welbeck with 640 points. Absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to all houses. So what does that mean now? Where have we got to go? Well, next week is a challenge week. And as part of challenge week, we are introducing some house challenges. Those house challenges will be worth house points. And once again, it's on entries, the number of entries um, that come in for each of the challenges. First challenges will be set by the house leaders, so every entry will be counted and then will be put together. All those results will then be added up and next Friday we will be announcing the winner of the house cup. At the start of this assembly, I did say I had some special guests um, who were going to make an appearance, but before they do appear, I just want to take um, a moment to pause. Dear Lord, we give thanks and rejoice in our students, their families, staff and all the community have supported each other through this school year. May we find the gladness and satisfaction in all our successes and even in our challenges. May the experience of this year as we celebrate succeeding together, strengthen our bond as the Minster family and deepen our commitment to our whole community. Amen. So it is possible, currently possible for any house to win, but this depends on you taking part. We are cheering you on, um, as are your tutors. Do get involved and let's see in Friday's big reveal who will be the award, um, the house that must that will be winning, that will be awarding that cup to. Hello Clumber, well done for all the excellent hard work this year collecting house points in lessons around school and by participating in competitions. I'm confident that whatever the result, we can feel proud of everything we've achieved this year. Stay motivated, remember that blue is best and have a great summer. Looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Hello Rufford House, Mrs Stewart here. It's absolutely fantastic to see you all again and to speak to you even if it is through a Zoom video. It's been brilliant over the last few weeks having a chance to look at all your wonderful work that you've been giving to your teachers, all the entries to the all fantastic house competitions, monitoring Twitter to see all the different PE challenges that you've been completing. It's brilliant and it shows how fantastically hard you've all been working. As we move forward towards the summer, it's just keep that push going. We're nearly there. We've had such a long term, a long year to be honest for most of you, that we just need to keep that push going. The competitions are still live. There's going to be loads of competitions in the next week. Just get as many points as you can. It'd be 
fantastic if Ruffo could get as many, as many, as many points as we can possibly get to really push for that House Cup. We won it last year, let's see if we can do it again. I just want to say, when the summer arrives, really, really enjoy yourselves. Hello, Hello Strange to speak to you through this format, um, but we've really missed you. So we've really missed doing our assemblies and handing out points to you physically. Uh, well done for all the work that you have been doing. Uh, we've been really impressed with all of that coming into your teachers and well done for entering competitions. So I know there's been loads of Forsby entries for the different things that we've seen um, and lots of the PE challenges on Twitter as well. Um, so really well done and hopefully we'll be able to, to see you soon and be able to celebrate properly. But remember, it's not quite over yet. We have to push definitely for next year, but before we even get there, there are going to be some more competitions coming up that we need to make sure Thorsby enter and Thorsby hopefully win. So keep an eye out for them, and when they're up, we'll let you know, and you can keep entering them, you can keep pushing for them, and hopefully we get some more points before we break up for summer, and we hope you have a really lovely summer when we eventually get there. Yeah, have a fantastic summer, and hopefully we'll see you in September face-to-face um, -face rather than on Zoom. Yeah, looking forward to it. Bye guys. Bye guys. Hi everyone, Mr. Pole here. As you can see, I'm rocking as much yellow as I can in honour of Welbeck in my most ridiculous yellow outfit I could muster. I've got yellow all around me as well. And this is all in honour of Welbeck because we are so close to winning that cup. We are so close to winning it. And me and Mr. Brooks really want to lift that cup when we come back in September. So we need all of you to enter as many of the house challenges as you can. You've all done great jobs all year. You've earned so many works points. You've taken part in challenges. We are so close to winning, but we need that final hurdle to jump. We need to push, we need to do it. We're so close. So I want as many of you to enter those house challenges as you can. Don't let all those countless hours Mr. Brooks went around collecting works points on a Friday morning be in vain. Come on guys, one last push. You can do it. Come on, woo, come on. So folks, the house cup's up for grabs. Any house could win it. Just get involved in the challenges. Can't wait to see what happens and we'll be announcing on Friday who's won the house cup this year. Good luck. <laughs>